Hello everyone, this is Prashant Sarasini from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we are going to see the second part of how to enable HTTPS in the admin console using the self signed certificates. So the agenda of the video is to remove the insecure warning that you generally see when it appears in the admin console when it is defined with self signed certificates and later we'll follow up with the demo so in this slide you can see on the left hand side you see that when a connection is not private this gen error generally comes up when you open the admin console which is HTTPS enabled using the self sign certificates so on the right side you see um, the security tab when we right click on the inspect so here you see two warnings subject alternative name missing and certificate missing so the certificate missing appears when the browser is not having this particular certificate so browser actually maintains a list of trusted certificates by the trusted certification authorities so as a self-signed certificate we need to import into the browser to to trust that certificate and the second thing is the subject alternative name missing usually when we create the self-signed certificates we do not give the IP address and the domain name system that is the host name of your Informatica server so we need to provide that along with the key tool commands that we run for creating the self sign certificates. So these are the three key tool commands that we usually run for creating the self sign certificates and exporting it. So this command we generally run in order to enable the HTTPS for the admin console and power center. So now it's time for the demo part, which we will run the key tool commands, export the certificate to the browser and enable HTTPS and the power center. So I am on my Linux machine and I am under the Java bin directory. So here we have the key tool command which we are going to run. So you can provide your details. You can give any random things. Now that I have run the previous two commands, my tomcat.keystore has been generated and we moved it to tomcat.conf. So the next step is we need to export the certificate from the tomcat.keystore file and we need to import it into the browser. So let me copy this.
okay now that our certificate is stored in this this file which we need to export it to the browser and now that i have exported the certificate into my machine so i'm just going to double click on this certificate and we'll click the install certificate so you can choose either of this current user or local machine and here you need to place the certificate in the trusted root certification authorities so the same file will be taken up to the browser so the browser just looks into this trusted root certificate authorities for the certificate to validate we'll just click next finish okay so it's just you can install this import this successfully so now we need to enable the HTTPS in our power center. Now we have to go to the ISP bin. So in order to execute the update gateway node command. So before doing that, we just need to shut down the domain. If not, so I already have the command. So which I have run earlier. So I'm just running the same again. So as it is successful, we can restart the domain. let me check if my admin console is up so now you can see you don't see the insecure warning anymore and the connection is secure so even with the self signed certificates you still see the t the tls handshake that appears the only thing is the browser doesn't validate that certificate because it is not from the valid certification authority so for that you need to just import it into the trusted certification authorities folder and it will be picked up by the browser now that we have completed with the demo part so for the references you can check the informatica knowledge base and the command reference guide with uh, the terms like cool to key to land and for setup commands whatever that is required and which we discussed in this video we would like to hear the feedback from you under this channel support videos at informatica.com and twitter info support page thank you and have a nice day